Hello there and welcome to this first online session uh, for Welsh beginners. Uh, my name is Glenn and I started thinking to myself during coronavirus lockdown, what is it that I could possibly do to entertain myself and maybe to help others? Um, and I did think, well, I am a fluent Welsh speaker, so there may well be people who want to learn who've never taken the plunge. So I thought, well, I'll try my best to help if I can. Um, I'm using audio and video and also using the screen. So hopefully that you can hear me clearly. You should be able to see me in a little box at the bottom of the screen and also see what I'm doing with the cursor in the hope that uh, whatever learning style you have, whether it be through an audio book or, or watching or, or reading, that we try and cover as much of that as we can. I'm recording this this as live so there may well be mistakes um, because you know I'm only human uh, and also I've got to multitask with typing um, as well uh, please do subscribe to the channel because it's really important to have some comments really about whether or not I'm going at a pace that suits people uh, if I'm covering things that people want covered so um, please be constructive um, I'm no expert. I'm a fluent Welsh speaker, and if I'm if I can help you, that's that's you know that that that's great. Um, a couple of things, then I guess, with learning Welsh, a lot of people have said it's such a difficult language to learn. I guess that's true, but I think that's true of most languages. Uh, for me, the important thing, and I can't stress it enough, is practicing. It's always practicing. That can be difficult. I know if you don't perhaps live in a community where there are many Welsh speakers about, but um, you know there are other ways of doing that. There's lots of social uh, websites and social platforms that you can join in, but that does tend to be a lot of uh, writing. But um, I thought during these videos at the end, uh, we can use it, even though I'm pre-recorded, that you can use it as a bit of a conversation between the two of us. So this is the kind of plan of today's which we're going to say So this is the kind of plan of today. I'll put my glasses on because, you know, the wrong side of 40, I can't see as well as I used to. So I'm going to have this kind of uh, word processing document up and I'll write things as we go and I won't get rid of them. They'll always be on there so that, you know, if you watch a PowerPoint or something, the screen disappears and you think, oh, what did he say? So I thought if I just keep writing them and they keep going down the list, then at any point you could pause the video, rewind the video, and they'd, they'd be there. So I thought that might be useful. So the plan then for this first session is to do some simple greetings. And we're going to do that in the informal way or to um, somebody that, you know, so, so not groups of people. Uh, so the individual informal way and we'll go on to plurals next time fear not don't worry it's okay to make mistakes some welsh people who've been speaking welsh all their life make mistakes especially when it comes to mutations and things so don't worry that's the biggest thing just practice 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 so we'll look at some simple greetings there are differences in north wales and south wales it is this, essentially it's the same language it's just a different accent and occasionally some different words are used but generally it's the same language to say to to, to greet somebody in south wales you might say shumai shumai in north wales in North Wales, you would use simai. Simai. I told you my typing is terrible when I'm multitasking. So South Wales, shumai. North Wales, simai. The u in shumai is a kind of... The w sound is an u sound. Uh, phonetically, I'm not going to linger on phonetics for much... For, for much time at all really because I think they are quite confusing and end up looking like gobbledygook 
So South Wales, you might say Shumai. North Wales, you might say Simai. So have a go. Shumai. Simai. A universal way, of course, of greeting somebody is to say hello. Um, and much as you can use Shumai, Simai, all absolutely fine. In English, we'd say hello, and universally, we say hello, and that's no different in Welsh. You can just say hello. The, the O is slightly more clipped, so it's hello, hello. Perfectly acceptable, perfectly adequate to use that in conversation with any Welsh speaker. So to introduce yourself, in English, of course, it would be my name is. My name is. You can use that in a more fairly formal way. So my name is Glenn. Informally in conversation daily, though, we'd probably say, oh, I'm Glenn. The same is true in Welsh. We can use the formal way, which is V N U E I U. V N U E I U. My name is Glenn. V would probably phonetically be spelt V N U something like that, and then E, and then EW, a bit like that, I suppose. Kind of give you a visualization of phonetic way of writing it. I don't like them. I don't like phonetical ways of doing this because it looks like a gobbledygook. V, N, U, E, EW. So it is V, N, U, E, EW. My name is Glenn. So have a practice of that. V, Enu, e, ew. So as we said in English, the informal way of saying my name is Glenn is just to say I'm Glenn. Same in Welsh. So the informal way of saying my name is Glenn would be to put the name first. Not in purple because that's for my phonetics. Would be to put your name first. Glenn. Dwi. Glen Dwi. I'm Glen. Glen Dwi. I'm Glen. And if you want to elicit a response in that context in English, you would say you wouldn't you would probably ask would you know what is your name? You, it's quite robotic to say what is your name? The formal way of saying what is your name in Welsh is Beth, Beth, Ew, Der, Enu, name, D. Beth, Ew, Der, Enu, D. But again, it's quite formal, and in everyday life, we might just, when you want that response in English, you might just ask, and you? So you've introduced yourself. I'm Glenn, and you? Perfectly acceptable to say that. In Welsh, the same. To say that is a tea, like a cup of tea. Glenn, do we? I'm Glenn. A tea, and you? Glenn, do we? A tea? They might respond by saying, They wouldn't say my name is. They could. Ver enu e ew. My name is Bob. It would be absolutely acceptable for them just to say as you did when you introduced yourself. Bob Twee. And then in response, you might say. Oh, hello, Bob. Shumai. Oh, hi, Bob. How's it going? So we've learnt the formal way 
to say hello. Shumai. Shumai. The enemy you burn. Be through the NOD. Be through the NOD. Informally, which I prefer because we're not robots. Hello. Glendwee. Hati. Oh, hello, Bob. Shumai. So we've looked at introducing yourself and asking others to introduce themselves to you. So if you want to practice, I shall introduce myself to you. Hello, Glendwee. Ati. Your response would be. So your response would have been your name, Dwee. And I might respond by saying, oh, hello. Bob, Shumai. So that is how to greet somebody in an informal when you're speaking possibly to a, one person who's a friend or somebody younger than you. In the next lesson, we'll look at how you do it to somebody who is older than you or a group of people in, uh, in the next one. And we'll also talk about likes and dislikes. So I'm um, talking about likes and dislikes. Please do subscribe below and put some comments to see if this is the kind of learning style that's something that works between the audio, the visual and the kind of on screen. But um, for now, thank you for watching and um, keep practicing. And I'll see you soon, hopefully. Thank you very much.